coming out next. Last tag race of the Man Cup season. It's Perilla Senior, sponsored by FranklinCarts.com. Also want to mention that third place run by Lemke in Yamaha Sportsman closes out a terrific, outstanding 2013 season for Lemke in the Sportsman ranks as he'll move up to junior and unofficially believe Lemke will win a WKA Triple Crown Championship, our first Triple Crown winner since 2011. So congratulations to Brandon Lemke. Didn't win that last race, but puts a solid end to a remarkable season on that Merlin chassis in the sportsman ranks. Perla Sr. on track now. Jake Johnson on the pole and Mark Bowes on the outside. Couple of top carts in row number one. Row two, Derek Dignan on the inside. Scott Ferris on the outside. Dignan on the FA, Ferris on the top card. Inside row number three will be Garrett Johnson in the 25 top card and John McCusker on the outside in the number 01 Haas. Row number four, Austin Erickson will be on the outside. Chandler Horton on the inside. Horton in the 82, Erickson the deuce. Chris Wareheim and Dustin Strauss in row five. Cal Stewart and Jacob Newvin, row six. No green, no green. And it doesn't look like Newvin is out there. So Newvin, a no-show here in the main event, as is Roger Ralston Jr., who entered, but I believe he's been a no-show all day in this Perla Senior class. Remember, T-shirts for sale at the Souvenir Trailer. Some specials, $5 shirts from events from earlier in the season available at the WKA Trailer, as well as this weekend's Racer Sites Nationals event shirt. And no green that time, no green. Comet Jr. is next. Perilla Sr. on track now, Orlando Kart Center. Comet Jr., the last race of the 2013 Man Cup season, is next. Nice slow pace coming down the front stretch. New front row, Dignan and Scott Ferris. And green flag is out. Ferris gets a nice jump from the outside, and Scott Ferris will take the lead. Dignan going to get shuffled back to third. Few carts getting together there into turn number three. Everybody keeps it straight. Meanwhile, Scott Ferris has jumped out to a huge lead after about a half lap. So Scott Ferris swapping his entry today from Tag Masters 
two Perilla senior and showing the young kids how it's done in the early going here as he is your leader on the top card Coming down the hill, here is Johnson looking to challenge Ferris for the lead and give the lead to Jake Johnson. Ferris going to slide all the way back to fourth as Derek Dignan and Garrett Johnston go past Ferris as well. So your new top three will be Jake Johnston, Dignan, and Garrett Johnston. Now Garrett Johnston to the inside of Dignan and Garrett Johnson will take over the second spot. Dignan back to third. Scott Ferris in fourth still. Chris Wareheim is fifth. Rilla Sr. on the track now, working lap number four. Two Johnston brothers out front. Jake slipped a little bit there off of turn number nine, allowed Garrett to close the gap, but Garrett stayed right behind. Now Dignan going to look to the inside in turn one. Boy, they almost got together as Garrett Johnston shut the door on your tag senior winner, Derek Dignan. As Dignan continues to work on the number 25 of Garrett Johnston. Jake Johnston, been fast all day, still doesn't have a win to show for it. Finished second to Dignan earlier in Tag Senior. Right now he's out front in this one. Twin brothers out front, Jake and Garrett Johnston riding 1-2. Just ahead of Derek Dignan, Chris Wareheim now up to fourth. And Dustin Strauss has moved that Tony cart into the fifth spot. Scott Ferris and Cal Stewart doing battle outside of the top five. That's a battle for seven. Ferris has position. Cal Stewart right behind. Halfway home, seven down, eight left to go for Jake Johnston. Garrett Johnston still right there with Dignan in third. Wareheim fourth. And Strauss in fifth. Mark Bowes is up to sixth.
Still Jake and Garrett Johnson, 1-2, out front. About a second between your leader, Jake Johnson, and third place, Derek Dignan. Dignan extremely strong earlier in the tag class. But not able to hang with the Johnston brothers here in this Perilla Senior main event. Here's Cal Stewart to the inside of Scott Ferris. As those two continue to do battle for the seventh spot. And Cal Stewart will take the position away from Ferris. Seventy-two. Mark Bow is going to receive the meatball flag here. Bow is currently running in the sixth spot, and Bumper is dragging on that number seventy-two machine. And looks like Bow is just going to pull off here. So still Jake and Garrett Johnson out front. Fast lap of the race belongs to Garrett with a 47.653. But right now he rides about four tenths back of Jake. Now one driver pulling off the track here on the exit to turn number seven, I believe that's Erickson in the Tony car. Two laps left to go for Jake Johnston. No real battles to report right now. Some distance between. And now another cart pulling off the track. Scott Ferris with a problem. Tough break for Ferris as he pulls that top cart off of the racetrack. So it's Jake Johnston still out front of Garrett Johnston. Derek Dignan in third. Chris Wareheim fourth. And Dustin Strauss in fifth. Those five drivers come down the front straightaway, but no, none of those drivers close enough to challenge. White flag in the air. Jake Johnston in control, looking to make it a 1-2 Twin Brothers sweep here with Jake out front of Garrett, but D Derek Dignan's right there. Closes the gap into turn number four does Dignan. So we'll see if Dignan can challenge Garrett Johnston and break up this top two for the Johnston brothers. Off of turn number nine for the final time, coming down the hill into turns 10 and 11, checkered flag in the air, and give the win to Jake Johnston. 
Garrett Johnson takes second. Both of those drivers put their hands in the air in celebration. A nice accomplishment for those two to finish 1-2 here in the last Perla Senior event of the season. Dignan will take third. Wareheim fourth. Strauss fifth. Cal Stewart sixth. John McCusker seventh. Austin Erickson eighth. Scott Ferris will be credited with ninth. And Chandler Horton will be credited with 10th. Both of those drivers pulled off with a few laps left. 